guys, it's been a little bit since I've uploaded, so I thought I would do a little kind of story time-ish thingy of how my Halloween went, even though it's like November 7th or something like that. We're still gonna go with it. So, a little while before Halloween, I went and stayed the weekend with Peanut, Peanut Miley. She's been on my channel, she's my best friend. Yeah, you get the big, you get the, you get it, okay, you get it. So, like, I'm spending the weekend with her and everything, and we decide, well, her and her friends have already decided that, to go to a haunted corn maze. So, I'm like, cool, whatever, I haven't been to one in a few years. So, we go. I only know, like, two of her friends, but I'm still there just, like, tagging along, like, hey, people, what's up? I'm here, hello. And so, we get... In we go through the regular corn maze, which it clearly says no cutting through the corn, no like running, no throwing corn. So <laughs> Terrence is one friend, and he decides he cuts through a bunch of it, which I cut through a little bit of it because I got a little bit away from people and they were just right there. So I admit I disobeyed the rules, put me in jail, whatever. But <laughs> So, he, like, somehow got to a whole nother part of the maze because he cut through. And we don't know where he went because we all ditched him. And so we get on top of this, like, wooden structure thing and we look out and we just see him, like, walking through. He find he makes his way over to us everything. And so then we're like, hey, so we're gonna go through part two now of the maze. We only went through part one. He was like, well, I just came from part two somehow and we're like but you had to have cut somewhere and he swore he had not cut through somewhere but it ended up he had and like throughout this like throughout our time going through the corn maze he decides to grab a whole like stalk of corn and just carry it with us and like I just grab a souvenir corn and just <laughs> to carry it with me but then I like chucked it up and it hit one of Ter's friends in the head so I mean that was kind of funny so after that, it wasn't the haunted maze or anything part. We go to the actual haunted maze part, and we have to wait in line for a long, long time, which sucks, but, you know, we do it because it's what you gotta do. You can't just cut through everyone. So we get to the front, and I'm like, we go, we start going through, and I'm just, like, leading everyone, just kind of being a stupid, like, little tour guide kind of thing. Being super sarcastic about everything. And they all just kind of pushed me forward. Just like, you know what? We'll just sacrifice Caitlyn. Because why not? Even though we had very much agreed to sacrifice the guy that grabbed the whole corn stalk. We all agreed on this. But no, he was behind me. So I'm just going through and like making super sarcastic comments about everything. I wish I had it recorded, to be honest. Because it was hilarious. But like, we get through this one part. And there's this, like, gargoyle, and the guy again that grabbed the whole corn stalk talks to the gargoyle, like, will you be my friend? Are you friendly? And so we're all shouting at him, be like, no one wants to be your friend, dude. No one wants to be your friend. And he gets so sad. And it was kind of funny. But, like, all overall, the haunted house was, like, not that scary. And it was kind of unfortunate. Or the maze. Did I say haunted house? It was a maze. It was not that scary, but there was one part that <laughs> Tara got absolutely terrified, and she, like, gripped onto me for dear life, and I found that hilarious, because typically she, like, doesn't get that way, but she did, and it was funny. And then they had these, like, strobe lights, and, like, you, first you, like, go through this little thing, you walk on this little path, and it's got a thing, like, turning around you, making it look, making it feel like you are dizzy as fuck after you get out and then they have strobe lights straight afterward and I was dying I ran right into a fence <laughs> I hurt my knee <laughs> which that's not a that big of a thing because I hurt myself all the time which I'll talk about more once we get through a part of this video so like we do that it's cool whatever we go to, like, they have some cornhole and stuff outside of the corn maze, so we just are doing that and chilling and everything, and all of a sudden, Tara and I are just kind of sitting there, on our phones or whatever, because everyone else is playing and we're just, like, chilling, 
And Tara starts telling Cornstalk guy <laughs> about this iguana that she saw. And these people behind us are just like, whoa, an iguana? And we're like, what? And Tara's like, we w- I wasn't talking to you. And he was like, oh, my bad. <laughs> it was the funniest thing ever. Like, I don't know. I mean, it wasn't even that funny, but we just thought it was the funniest thing at the time. And so we were, like, just having a blast. It was a good time. And then afterwards, we went to McDonald's, and that was kind of a mess. <laughs> it, was, it was a lot of fun, though, I will admit. And then, so that was before Halloween, even. So... This also next part was still before Halloween, so it was a few days before Halloween because my trick or treat in my town is not on Halloween; it's a couple days before. So I go out to go trick or treating. I'm dressed up as like a gothic witch or whatever. I think I have a photo on my Instagram, which is at Caitlin Ella Brock. And um, so I go to the Meadows, which is a nursing home, because my great grandparents are there, and so I like go and walk through the whole Meadows and go trick or treating. <laughs> And it is a big place. I didn't realize how big it was until I went and walked through it all. And holy shit, it is huge. So. (laughs) And, um. There's this one old lady there that she used to be my neighbor. I used to go over to her house almost every day. I almost broke my foot actually in front of her house. Which, that'll be a story for a different time. But, um. So, yeah, I go up and hug her because I'm like, yo, I haven't seen this lady in a while because she got taken to the nursing home because she, like, fell or something. And I have not seen her and I grew up with her being my neighbor. And I give her a hug and everything. I'm like, hey, Elsie. And she doesn't recognize me. It hurt. (laughs) It hurt a lot. But she did not recognize me at all. I tried to explain to her who I was. She did not understand So, I just kind of went on my merry way. And so, after I go trick-or-treating through the whole thing, I go back to my great-grandparents' room, and I decide I want to go trick-or-treating in my actual neighborhood, too. So, I borrowed my grandma's car, because my grandma and my aunt were there with me at the Meadows with my great-grandparents. I borrowed my grandma's car. I take off and go... To go to go trick or treating in my neighborhood, I go to Lori's grandma's house because Lori's grandma lives like right down the road from me, and uh, so Lori and I start to go trick or treating because I pretty much drag her along even though she's not in costume or anything, because she thinks she's too cool for trick or treat because she's fifteen and she's gonna be sixteen in December, and I'm like, girl, I am sixteen years old. I have been sixteen years old for about two months now. I'm still going trick-or-treating. I'm still probably going to go trick-or-treating when I'm in my 20s. Even if I have kids, I'm just going to make them go trick-or-treat for me so I don't have to do it and just steal their candy. Like, come on. (laughs) Free candy. Why not? So we go through and everything. I decided I want to go to my one friend's house to go trick-or-treating at her house because I'd seen her outside when I drove past to get to Lori's grandma's house. And so I we start walking towards that way. We see my friend's like, as we're walking over there and everything, they run up, give me a hug, everything, and Alicia, who is the girl's house that we were trying to go to to go trick-or-treating, she tells me to just go over to her house and take as much candy as we want, because we have, they had way too many. So, me being me, I go over there, I pretend like I'm going to take the whole big box, I don't have anything that even would be close to it, but it was a giant, like, crate kind of thing. And it was impressive, man. So, I pretend to do that. Her mom kind of laughed because her mom knows me. So, I ended up just taking a little bit. But it was funny. And so, we crossed the street and everything to go to a couple houses that were across the street. Which we crossed right in front of this car. And it kind of pissed the people in the car off. But we are like, hey man, this is our road for the night. It's Halloween. Bro. And so... Because we did this, this little kid thinks it's it's okay for him to try and cross the street right then. And we're like, we are horrible influences. This kid is going to get hit. Luckily, his mom saw it and made sure he didn't run out in front of the car. Because the car would probably not have seen him. He was only like four or five, maybe. So, thank God he didn't do that. Because I would have felt really bad. And so, like, we walk along to this guy's... Or, well, to these people's house. I don't know them, but Lori knows the lady's daughter. 
And so we go up to, like, trick-or-treat there and everything. And as we're walking up, there's this little teeny tiny rut that's only, like, that big. What do I do? I trip. <laughs> I trip. I don't fall completely. And miraculously, I caught myself. And <laughs> I did. these people are probably, like, super big Catholic because I live in a super, super Catholic neighborhood. So I'm sort of showing, oh, shit. But I saved myself. I'm like, oh, shut up, poopy. <laughs> and, like, Lori's busting out laughing, which apparently when I fell, my phone, like, flew out of my pocket into their bushes. And I didn't even notice it. So I would have left their house had Lori not have been there and saw that my phone had fallen out of my pocket and grabbed it for me. Which I cracked my phone a little bit that night. But it's okay. It didn't crack the screen. It just cracked the back. So it's all right. <laughs> And so then, pretty much, Trick or Treat was over by then, because <laughs> Trick or Treat's only an hour long in my neighborhood, and it took us, like, half an hour just to walk to Alicia's house. So we go back to Lori's grandma's everything, and I, you know, tell them bye that I gotta go back and get my gram grandma and aunt and everything. But first, I stop at the YMCA, which is having another Trick or Treat, <laughs> And I go and trick or treat there, even though I know it's a bunch of people dressed up in costumes from my old school. They know me. They most of them do not like me, and they probably think I'm the most childish person ever because I went to the trick or treat that was for literally five year olds. But do you think I'd give a shit? No. <laughs> I got so much candy, man. I went trick or treating three times in one night. So, like, I went back, picked up my grandma and everything. We went back home. It was fun. I had a great Halloween this year. I don't know about the rest of y'all. It was nice. I didn't have any clowns attack me, though there was a couple clowns going and walking around, um, around my neighborhood on Trick or Treat, and I'm like, y'all better watch out because y'all gonna get shot up in here. But everyone was cool, everyone was Gucci, and it turned out pretty well. Had a good time. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this little story time of how my Halloween went. And yeah, I will see you guys later. Goodbye. I love you all. Stay awesome. Stay beautiful. Stay strong. And I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye. Mwah.